Hello there and welcome back to this video series on programming for problem solving using C language. After watching this video, you will be able to write C statements to represent mathematical computations correctly. We will try to do this using a couple of uh, examples. To begin with, let us note that mathematical equations indicate equality between several independent or dependent variable or expressions. These equations, mathematical equations are represented as assignment statements in C language. Essentially an assignment statement in C language consists of three components. One, a variable name followed by an operation, um, followed by an assignment operation and an expression and of course terminating in semicolon. Let us see this with an example. Let us consider an example mathematical equation as given here. The value of x on the left hand side of equal to sign is computed using the current values of x, y, t and w. So this expression is evaluated and the result is put in x. The moment we see such an equation, we will be tempted to write an equation as shown over here. Uh, x is equal to 2 star x star y by w star t. That is what is the order in which we see x star 2 star x star y divided by w multiplied by t. But that I think is incorrect because this would evaluate to 2 star x star y uh, divided by w whole multiplied by t. The fact that this p goes under into the denominator is not clear the moment you see this expression. But if you see precedence uh, of uh, operators, this star is evaluated first, this star is evaluated first, then this w is divided, the whole result is computed, then it is multiplied by p. So a correct way would be to write 2 star x star y divided by w divided by p because this whole quantity is evaluated and then divided with p. So the second expression as shown here is correct. Let us see another, another example. Uh, this example is, uh, is an equation for computing the perimeter of an ellipse with uh, semi-major axis A, semi-major uh, minor axis B. This approximate formula is proposed by Sri Ramanujan, the genius mathematician. If we have to write a series of C statements to represent these, perhaps we would do something similar to this as shown over here. Okay? Uh, many a times we see it is convenient to split a mathematical equation into two or more statements. For example, this h is equal to a minus b whole square by a plus b whole square. We split it into two uh, statements a minus b by a plus b is equated to h that is this value is computed and is stored into h then you raise the power of h by 2. You see this p o w it is a built in mathematical function to raise a quantity to a given power. Similarly we evaluated the square root of 4 minus 3 h once as temp and uh, 3 h by 10 plus temp because this whole quantity is evaluated as temp in one statement. We can write this as 10 plus temp. 3 h divided by 10 plus temp evaluates this whole quantity. Then the perimeter we evaluate as shown over here. Again this m underscore pi is, uh, a, is equal to pi and this definition is available in uh, math dot h. Okay, that is what is written over here. Now these expressions involve logical, relational and other operators. We will see that later. The table we are going to present in the next uh, slide is very comprehensive list uh, of operators, their priority and associativity. Uh, you don't have to uh, memorize that but refer to this table as far as possible, as many times as possible so that you will remember all these. If you have any questions on this, you may ask in the class. That's all we have for now and have a great day.